The breakdown you're about to watch is brought to you by We Want Picks Premium Membership. Premium Membership gets you all sorts of exclusive content, early bets, fantasy tools, and betting guides. Check it out now, wewantpicks.com. Click Become a Member. Get ahead of these betting lines and get access to all of the tools now with an optimizer. We have a Draft Kings optimizer available to you at the same low price of $10 a month. That's $2.50 a week. You get all of our bets early, all of our fantasy content early. You get betting tools and now a Draft Kings optimizer, Draft Kings ownership, and everything you need to build now. Up to 150 lineups with just a few clicks. WeWantPicks.com at the top. Click become a member. It is only $10 a month. All right, $10 a month. You have one good week. You pay for the whole year. WeWantPicks.com at the top. Click become a member. And as always, if you want $50, all you need to do is go to WeWantPicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our betting partners. Make a deposit and I will send you $50 as a thank you, that's wheelandpicks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit, I'll send you 50 bucks. Next up, at UFC Vegas 60, we have Anthony Hernandez taking on Mark andre Barreau. Anthony Hernandez is 9-2 and two overall, 3-2 and two in his last five, and he is riding a two-fight win streak. Mark andre Barreau is 14-5 and five overall, 3-1-1 one and one in his last five, coming off a bounce-back win after a pretty bad knockout loss earlier this year. And Anthony Fluffy Hernandez is a very good grappler who rose to fame basically just by having better cardio than Rodolfo Vieira. He does have some solid takedowns. He is a BJJ black belt. And although he's willing to strike, that's not his path to victory. He's coming off the victory over UFC newcomer Josh Freem, where he had an impressive eight takedowns and 11 minutes of control time. Marc-Andre Barreau is a pretty well-rounded fighter with solid kickboxing and takedowns. His jiu-jitsu is solid, but his takedowns can definitely use some work. Marc-Andre is typically looking to pressure forward, wear you down on your feet, and he has impressive striking volume, though, with almost six significant strikes landed per minute. He is coming off a submission win over Jordan Wright in the first round, where he gave up two takedowns before snatching up a guillotine. Marc-Andre is likely the more well-rounded fighter in this matchup, right? He's got solid striking, solid BJJ on the ground. The issue, though, is that while his takedown defense is 68%, he has also been taken down 12 times in eight fonts and by people who really just aren't even as good at grapplers as Anthony Hernandez. So I like Fluffy to get the takedowns, get the win, but he's definitely going to need to be careful on his feet because Marc-Andre is the far better striker. This whole card is like... Uh, a graveyard of your lost, <laughs> your lost uh, lock of the weeks in the past. Well, we mentioned uh, Trevin already, and he won. Or Giles, not, not Trevin. And he, and he shouldn't Giles. have. But go ahead. No, but there's a lot of lock of the week killers. Even when I was breaking down the card on Twitter, I, I was like, "This is a guy's a lock of the week killer. This guy's a lock of the week killer." And Barry <laughs> is one of those lock of the week killers. But that was one of those situations where. I knew that Jordan Wright was going to win that fight because I knew that he was going to kill me. And people don't realize that Jordan Wright um, is a pretty good wrestler. I mean, he's not like a downer wrestler. He's a pretty good wrestler. And that was the path to victory. And he saw the path to victory. He went in there. He got clipped a little bit, which Barry is known as power bar. He's supposed to be this powerful guy. He, he, I don't think he's got power. I don't think he's got, you know, obviously at 185, you're going to have a little bit of power. But he's not like this knockout guy. He's more, as Angel mentioned, the pace and pressure type of dude. I don't think he's that great. I don't think his takedown defense is that good. And that's why I picked Jordan Wright in that matchup. And that's a, exactly what Jordan Wright was about to do. He was just about to ragdoll that dude for three rounds, maybe even get a submission win, was able to take him down very easily, and then just caught in that weird guillotine. The path to victory is very, very simple for Andy Hernandez. And I think he's a better wrestler than Jordan Wright. He's not going to get caught in that. That was the first submission win for Mark andre in, in, in his pro career. So that was just like kind of a weird flyer situation. That was like the most typical Jordan Wright finish I've ever seen. The guy loses in the weirdest ways possible. But yeah, the path the victory is very simple. I think he's able to find the takedowns. There's a reason I pick against people uh, for lock of the week is because I see the path to victory. And Anthony Hernandez has that exact same path to victory that Jordan Wright has. I think he's able to capitalize it on it uh, much better um, and at a much better pace. So I, I'm all in on Anthony Hernandez, and I think it's a pretty good value too. What's his, what the odds at right now? Let me check. Minus 180. It's not great value. <laughs> uh, minus 174 now on Bet Online. I think mm -hmm. that's pretty good value. I still think it's pretty good value. I think he's able to just absolutely dominate the wrestling. My favorite part about breaking down this fight card is like, obviously I, ha I have a typo here where I said that Marc-Andre's 5-1. 
Half of you people in the comments genuinely thought he was 5'1". Like, oh my God, I didn't realize he was that short. I might have to look at my bets. Relax, it's a type. This dude's not 5'1". Jacob's 5'1", but Mark andre is not. I was waiting for that. There it is. I mean, that's, I mean, that's literally, I mean, that's low-hanging fruit. Like, you need to be better than that. I get it. You're, I mean, <laughs> short king, as they were saying. Uh, Anthony Hernandez, $8,700 in DraftKings. I absolutely think he's worth it. I love to see under that $9,000 price point, especially with takedowns, submission potential, you know, stuff like that. What do you think? Yes, sir. Okay. Monkey Knife Fight Strike Line. If you don't know what Monkey Knife Fight is, it is daily fantasy, and all you need to do is say more or less on the amount of strikes you think these guys will land. 56 to 64. Mark andre is a pressure guy with a good volume. Anthony Hernandez should be able to get the takedowns. This might be a more more. What do you think? It's a tough line. I think he gets a takedown early, man. And I think, yeah, Mark andres in trouble. I don't think Mark andres that good. Uh, I'm just one of those guys. I just don't think he's that good. Well, if uh, you're on the Jacob side, then do the under on the Monkey Knife Fight strike line. Go less, less. And you can do that at weonpicks.com slash M. KF, they will instantly match your deposit up to $100. You give them $50, they'll give you $50, you give them $100. They'll give you $100. And if you want access to every single one of our bets, the very second that we place them, go to weonpicks.com and at the top, click become a member. It is only $10 a month. And the fun fact we opened with is if you bet every single bet that we put up there from the beginning, you'd be up money. I see the comment. I'm going to ignore it. It's stupid. You're not going to post that thing? Thank you, Jeff. Jeff says, Angelo should be ball gagged the whole time when he speaks. Jake is why we're here. GG's and clap. Jeff, are you a premium member then? Because that supports Jacob directly. Jacob eh, gets it doesn't matter, Jeff. Don't worry about it, Jeff. <laughs> oh, fuck that. Absolutely not. Whoa, F-bomb. You can't shit on half of us and not support Whoa, the channel. Whoa, F-bomb. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Ad revenue. You got to become a premium member. We just lost our ad revenue, guys. So you got to <laughs> become a premium member. We want picks.com. If you're going to trash me or, or Jacob, you have to at least support the channel. 